Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. You can create your own custom view of folders in your Outlook mailbox. For example, if you wanted to see who had sent public task requests in a public tasks folder, you could add the sent field to the table view of the tasks in that public folder if you're the current public folder's owner. Now to create a view for any folder, just select the folder whose view you wish to modify, and then select View, roll down to Current View, and then choose Define Views from the menu bar to open the Custom View Organizer. In the Custom View Organizer dialog box that appears, you can create a new view and set any additional options that you would like your view to have. To create a new view, just click the New button at the right of the Custom View Organizer dialog box. That will open up the Create a New View dialog box, and here you type a name for your new view into the Name of New View text box shown at the top. Below that, you select what type of base view that you want to create, just as you did when creating custom views of your Contacts folder. So it could be a table view, a timeline view, a card view, a business card view, a day, week, month view, or an icon view, and it depends upon the type of folder usually. Then you select where it can be used. This folder visible to everyone, this folder visible only to me, or all and then the type of folder, folders. So it could be all contact folders, all mail and post folders. It just depends on what kind of view you're trying to customize. Once you're ready, click the OK button to continue. That will then launch the Customize View dialog box. Now the Customize View dialog box has seven buttons that are available, although for some types of base views, they may not all be available. So clicking the Fields button launches the Show Fields dialog box. Here you can use the drop-down in the upper left corner to choose which set of fields you wish to see appear in the Available Fields list below. To move an available field into your view, select it from the available fields list and then click the Add button in the middle of the dialog box to add it into the list at the right. Once it's there, you can select it and reorganize its position by clicking the Move Up and Move Down buttons until it's in the place that you desire. At that point, click OK when you're done adding and organizing all the fields that you would like your view to contain in order to return to the Customize View dialog box. Clicking the Group By button launches the Group By dialog box, and here you can use the drop-down under Group Items By to select a field by which you can group the items in your view. If you choose to manually group a view, then choose ascending or descending order for the sort. Note that you can sort or group by up to four different fields. When you're ready, click the OK button. Back in the Customize View dialog box, you can click the Sort button to open the Sort dialog box. Now here you can use the drop-down available under Sort Items by to choose the field by which you would like to sort the information. Once you've selected a field, you can then choose Ascending or Descending order. And once again, note that you can sort by up to four fields. Once you're done choosing your sorting for your view, Click the OK button to set the sorting and return to the Customize View dialog box. Next, you can click the Filter button to open the Filter dialog box. This is used to filter content from the view. The dialog box consists of four tabs, Messages, More Choices, Advanced, and SQL. You can click on the tab that you would like to use to set the criteria that will include or exclude particular items from this view. On the Messages tab, you can choose criteria that would allow you to filter by various common message fields. You can also choose the More Choices tab, where you can set criteria that would allow you to filter by assigned categories, message statuses, message option settings, and other more advanced filtering possibilities. On the Advanced tab, you can use the Field drop-down to choose from any of the available fields in Outlook that you would like to use as a filter. 
You can then use the condition drop-down to choose a comparison condition, and if needed, you can type the value to which you would like to compare the field's value into the last text box. You can then click Add to List to add it to the list above and use it as the filter for this view. You can click the SQL tab to create a statement using structured query language by which you can select the items that you wish to see if you're familiar with how SQL is used within Outlook. When you're done creating any necessary filters for your view, click the OK button to return to the Customize View dialog box. Clicking the Other Settings button launches the Other Settings dialog, and here you can adjust the font display for items in your view. The particular content shown will change depending on the base style of view that you're trying to customize, but you can make any adjustments that you wish here, and then click the OK button to return to the Customize View dialog box. Clicking the Automatic Formatting button launches the Automatic Formatting dialog box, and here you can set new rules to apply a default formatting to items that match a given rule criteria. There are some rules that are already in place in this dialog box, but you can add more. To add a new rule, you just click the Add button at the right side of the dialog box. It adds a new rule to the list, and you can type a name for the rule into the name box shown at the bottom. You can then click the Font button to set the font formatting that the item should use when the condition that you're about to specify is met. Then click OK. You can then click the Condition button to actually set up the criteria that, when met, applies the formatting that you just selected. Then just click OK to return to the Customize View dialog box when you're finished. Note that if you are using a table view as your base view, then you can click the Format Columns button to specify a display format for each of the fields that you elected to have within your view. To do that, just select the name of the field whose display you wish to modify from the available fields list at the left side of the dialog box, and then change the settings at the right side of the dialog box. When you finish changing the display and formatting of the columns in your view, you may click the OK button to return back to the Customize View dialog box. Once you're completely satisfied with all the settings of your custom view, click OK in the Customize View dialog box to return back to the Custom View Organizer. You should now see your view name listed in the listing of views available within the dialog box. To apply your view, just click on its name to select it from the list, and click the Apply View button at the bottom of the Custom View Organizer. If necessary, you can click Close at the bottom of the dialog box to return back to the folder's view. Note that if you want to apply the view in the future, you could go to View, and then choose Current View, and notice that the name of your particular view is shown in this list as well. You can also choose Define Views again, in order to open the Custom View Organizer. If you would like to modify a view that you've created, you can select the name of the custom view that you've made, and then click the Modify button at the right side of the dialog box to open the Customize View dialog again, where you can change any settings that you would like, and then click OK to apply them. You can also select the name of a custom view that you've created in the Custom View Organizer, and then click the Delete button to delete it if you no longer need to use the view. Once you've finished using the Custom View Organizer, click the Close button at the bottom of the dialog box to return to your default folder view. Thank you! We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from TeachUComp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today, and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high-quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy-to-use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!